Good morning, everybody. Today, I am going to share with you a little bit about the ClearNav Color Display Vario with Thermal Assist. Uh, we will go over all of the screens, all of the arrows, all the little subtle nuances, as well as the overhead thermal map and the actual Coke can and the auto switch display as well as where you go into the Vario settings and all the different options you can set up for your thermal assistant. So this uh, should be a shorter video than the last video, but hopefully you like it and it gives you just a couple of uh, tips, hence how I use it and some of the settings. Again, any questions, comment below. Timestamps also be below if you're looking for something specific. And uh, I can't believe I just spilled my coffee, but we'll be all right. And we're going to, uh, to uh, shoot that and if there's any other videos you want about the ClearNav Vario system, let me know. The next video is probably going to be about the ClearNav flight computer. Here we are in the back seat of the ASG32 looking at the ClearNav Variometer system with the 57 millimeter round color display. We're looking at the block speed to fly mode currently. So what we're seeing is 64 is my McCready setting, uh, my, my McCready speed I should be flying right now. So it's about a McCready 1. Uh, it is telling me to speed up. See the red semicircle? Down low, it's saying I should be flying 80 because I'm going through uh, 3.8, 2.1 uh, knots down currently in my relative net of over the last five seconds. Here we can see we're gonna start getting into some lift. So see, it's telling me to slow down. I can still see my put, pull, uh, pull chevrons. It's saying up, 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 up. Um, the Vario is sounding good. The gray box has just popped up. That's my preemptive climb. It's saying if I turn right now, that's my thermal strength. We missed this one a little bit and had to come back into it. But as we start turning and see that arrow turn, it auto switched into climb mode. So now I have my Vario coming up. I have my top to bottom average starting on the bottom. I have my, my one turn average starting on the top. I have my big green arrow uh, on the side underneath all the pointers is my bottom average. The little green arrow is the top average and the red arrow on the side of the uh, the side of the Vario is my McCready, so I'm at a McCready 1 right now. The Coke can just came up, which is a horizontal representation of what the thermal's doing, so it's showing me that I'm going through a little bit of sync on this turn. This is just the last one turn, um, which I'm doing at a rate of 30 seconds, and I see that by my top average. Uh, it's, I'm tightening up now, I'm about a 28 second uh, turn, and the thermal's getting stronger. See there, I'm seeing uh, eight knots, six knots, kind of dropping back off you can see the little peaks of what is happening here so it gives a really nice visual representation the arrow is pointed to where it thinks the strongest part of the lift is and the little dotted line is 10 degrees before my climb here i'm in here a chime beep beep you hear that chime that is telling me that i'm just lining up with where the strongest part of the lift is so we're going to hear that every time around this is moved to a later part so see my average is going up the little green arrow average is up to seven knots which is my last 20 second average the top to bottom thermal average in 3.5, that's the big one. And again, I'm still at a McCready 1 setting. So, so here we are. We can tell we're kind of in the back half of this thermal by the negative sound. We're going to make a big correction. So when we hear that audible ping, we see the line line up. We're going to level out. We're going to actually switch from Vario mode. We're flying straight and level. See, there's no more rotation. Uh, back to cruise mode, and then roll back up into this thermal. As we roll back in, we made a big adjustment. The one thing with that big adjustment is it did start over our top to bottom uh, average. Notice the big uh, green arrow in the back. So that is the, the larger pointer is the bottom average. It's saying 16, 17 seconds. Both the averages are the same as we start here uh, because we haven't started, finished the first full rotation. Once we stop and finish the first full rotation, the top number will become the uh, one turn average. I just took the left encoder and moved it to the left one turn. That takes the thermal assist screen. So you get rid of the arrows on the side, but you get a larger thermal assist picture. Notice now the right encoder doesn't do anything on this first thermal assist screen. I can push in, I can twist. It's not gonna do anything for me. But if I twist to the left one more time, now I am in the thermal map, the overhead view, which a lot of people like. If I take the left encoder, right encoder and spin it in or out, I'm going to zoom in or out to change my scale. If I push in, then it changes the scale, also zooms in and out, but gives you your value 
of what uh, what setting you're on. If I push in again, I can change from map up to goal up to track up. My goal is that purple arrow, which in this case is leading us back to William Soaring Center. If I go back to the left one click, I get my big thermal assist. If I go back to the left two clicks on the left encoder, now I'm back on my main screen. If I push in on the right encoder, I am gonna change the screen behind the Vario. So it goes from the thermal assist that we're seeing here, I can get back to my navigation page or to my main flying page. So click in again, that's my main flying page where I see my wind speed, my destination. And if I just twist, when I'm on the main screen, I'm gonna change the McCready setting. So see that red pointer is moved up to 2.5. If I push in on the left encoder, I'm gonna get the ribbon to pop up. We'll talk about the ribbon in a second. But if I push in, go to the volume, and take the right encoder and go up or down, that's how I'm changing uh, vertically with the right encoder. So next, we're gonna talk about the thermal assist settings. So I take the left one, left encoder, spin fast to the left, drop down with the right encoder down to Vario settings and continue over to the right with the left encoder. Now we're looking at our variometer settings. So we have uh, the thermal assist settings. So here we are. I am gonna slow the video down so we can click through here for the second. But once these come up, we can see enabled thermal assist, yes. So we can turn that on or off. We have to push in on the right encoder to advance to the next screen. So we push in, we're gonna go down to advance 10%, 10 degrees, yes. Then we're going to see the sound ping, yes. Thermal switching, yes, delay, 180 degrees. Any one of those settings I can change with the right encoder. So we can see that the 10 degree is now up and we can see that the thermal assist is now enabled and working. So uh, again, switch into the thermal map. I can zoom in, zoom out there. Now let's talk about the screen navigation. So now we have up our main screen by pushing in in the right encoder, I'm gonna get the ribbon. The ribbon is gonna allow me to navigate left and right. The right is gonna allow me to go up and down. So left and right with the left encoder, up and down, meaning changing the values on any of the boxes with the right encoder. So I can go to bugs, I can go to mark a point, uh, I can go to settings, change my Vario scale, change my block speed to fly, uh, my cruise climb overrides and just keep navigating to the left and the right with that encoder. If I want to get rid of the ribbon, I push in on the left encoder. If I want to change a value here, I'm going to change my water. I go to the right encoder and go up or down with the value with the right or the left spin. Continuing again, clicking on the right one is gonna advance my screens from thermal assist to navigation to the home screen. Pushing in or twisting to the right and then pushing in. That's getting my ribbon up so I can change my volumes. I switch to the right one time with the left encoder to get my thermal map. If I click again, uh, navigate back and forth, you know, just quickly switching between dials is gonna give me these different options in here. It is pretty intuitive um, once you kind of get the basic navigations. So the ribbon makes the navigation really nice, uh, nice and simple as we're trying to get to wherever I need to. If I want to change my speed to fly and my chevrons uh, in the back, I want to change uh, it into Vario mode. You just got to play with it a little bit and you'll get those settings down. Well, thank you guys for making it through another one of the William Soaring Center and Clear Knife Instrument videos. I'm really hoping that this video left you with more answers and questions. However, if it didn't, please contact us at William Soaring Center and or at Clear Knife Instruments. Both contacts can be found on our website. Feel free to email, call and talk with a representative. Uh, if you like the device and would like one, again, you can buy direct from clearnav.net or call in at William Center Center or Claire Nav Instruments and we can get you tied in and get you the unit you want, get you all the information you need. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, you can comment below, like and subscribe here in the corner and we're gonna continue to produce, produce comment. Coming shortly will be a video on the Claire Nav 2 flight computer.
Thank you very much. Have a great day.